So that's the theme. It seems like God's great in Jerusalem. Um, and so that's, that's what they used to say in the temple. I think it was to kind of strengthen their connection to what they were doing in the temple, what the temple experience was about, and how they're supposed to relate to the temple. I just wanted to um, now go a little bit into detail really quickly and show you, I think it, it splits into, th into four parts. Okay, and each part adds on another piece. So I think the first, first, uh, the first part is like this. A song, a psalm of the songs of Korah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of God on his holy mountain. Beautiful in its heights, joy of all the earth, Mount Zion, its northern side, city of the great king. In its citadels, God is known as a stronghold. I think that's the first part. That's basically trying to tell people in the temple and tell us how great God is. When you see God in the temple built in Jerusalem, you see the beautiful, the city, and it's built up. It's supposed to connect you and really um, raise up God's glory, to really elevate God's glory in your eyes. That's one purpose of the temple, is to help us, and, and, the, and the building of Jerusalem, to help us appreciate God's grandeur. Now, another purpose of the temple and the building of Jerusalem is this next piece where it says, this is talking about how other nations, or other kings, will experience seeing Jerusalem. It's not just how we see Jerusalem, how the other kings will. And that's like, that, that is what it says. See how the kings joined forces advancing together. They saw, they were astounded, they panicked, they fled. The, their fear seized them, like the pains of women giving birth, like ships of Tarshish wrecked by, an eastern, uh, wrecked by an eastern wind. So when other nations come to see Jerusalem, it's so grand, it's so amazing, that they actually get, get, they get terrified and they're in fear. It's something really, it's something really um, astounding, this, the site of Jerusalem as it was built. So I think that's another function of the temple, is that it not only connects us to the grandeur of Jerusalem, but it also brings a certain amount of pride in, this, in, in our temple to God. It's like people build statues to their heroes, or they build monuments. This is a Jewish monument to God. This, is, this shows that God... Um, is our number one, and it brings us a lot of honor that all the nations can recognize that. So it's another piece of the temple. And I think the third part, um, the third part is embodied in this last piece. What we heard now we have seen in the city of the God of hosts, in the city of our God. May God preserve forever, Selah. In the midst of your temple, we meditate on your love. As is your name, God, so is your praise. It reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. So we, hear, we see here love, righteousness, it's another aspect of the temple. Not only is God's grandeur, or our sense of pride, national pride, but also a place where we can learn about God. All right, so I, um, you learn about God's righteousness in the Sanhedrin, from the Kohanim. You also connect to God and meditate on God's love when you're there. I remember when I was in Jerusalem, I used to live there, and Rahavia, I used to walk um, to the temple, and just, to, not to the temple, I wish, to the, to the Western Wall, and I used to sit there and just kind of um, just take in the energy and f kind of feel God's love. And I imagine it was like multiplied by many times when the temple was built. So those are three different aspects of the temple experience. And the last piece basically says, don't forget this. I don't forget this. It says, everybody here, the temple, in temple times, take notes of what, what's going on here. Because one day, um, people might not remember this. And so make sure they know this. That's what it says at the end here. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the town of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk around Zion and encircle it. Count its towers. Note its strong walls, view its citadels, so that you may tell a future generation that this is God our God forever and ever. He will guide us forevermore. So really, it's just, that's, this last piece, I don't think it's talking about another aspect of Jerusalem. Rather, it's, it's asking those at the, in the temple period to take note of this and to record it like it was recorded in this psalm. So this is, a, I think, this is a powerful piece for them at that time, kind of strengthen their connection and focus them on what they need to take from the temple. And in our time, I think we, we were following through with this last piece and trying to remember what it was like in order to envision what it's going to be like in the future.